We're going to bring you uh, our version of an adult western. It's the story of one of the worst killers in the West, the Bingo Kid. He pits his intelligence against the young man who has returned from a college in the East. It's called Reach for Your Brains. We're also going to take you for a look at what happens late at night all over, all over the country as we bring you our impression of the new TV show, Nighttime, or America in the Dark. But right now, we're going to join the victors as the boys finish up an evening of poker. Hey, I got a word. Import. That's a good word. Hmm? Import? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Bob, as long as the last few hands, suppose we double the ante, make it two and four. Why do you want to get wild? What's the wildness? Why do you get wild? Penny and two is all right. All right. There's a push. What do you do? Bob? You change your nickel for me? <laughs> oh, he must have some hand. Well? <laughs> That's a hand. He's got a hand. One, two, three, four, five. That's all right. You don't have to follow. Right. I just count. You don't trust just count. That's the way I like to play. All right. What do you do? Well, Bob, I'll bet two cents. He's <laughs> got a hand. Okay, Fred, what do you do? Two cents to you. Two cents, huh? Too rich for my blood. <laughs> I'll see your two cents and raise you two cents. I'll see that two cents and raise you two cents. I'm a penny shy. <laughs> okay, I'll just see Bob, you. this is a friendly game, and we are friends. Save your money, Bob. So hot. Woo! <laughs> Big hand. Oh, my. Okay, I throw in. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you don't mind if we see what you have. I mean, you don't have to show us. It's not legal, you know. No, no, you don't have to show us. I want you to see. Okay, look at that. Ten high. Nothing. <laughs> I thought we were playing friends here. You want to play friends with me? You said that out. No, you put it up because that's that big. But the Don, what are you trying Bob, to do? It's a question of winning. It's a question of you winning or me winning. It's much better that I win. Much better. <laughs> I don't understand. I went out with Bob. aces, a pair of aces I went out with. Bob, what are you getting excited about? Gee whiz. Uh, I went out with four kings. <laughs> four kings you went out? Sure. You, you, you can't just take wild chances, you know. After all, the, the, the guy had two cents in there, you know. He, he, he might have had four aces or a royal flush even. Yeah, you, you can't can, get wild. You can't get wild. That's Bob, right. This is the seventh time I've bluffed you tonight, Bob. I know that. You should get to know I'm a liar. You I know, know you're a liar. <laughs> Here's your card. What do you do? You're gonna play or you're gonna read? What do you want to do? No, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in for a penny. It's two cents. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> play two hands, what do you want to do? Hey, hey, did you guys see this? What? Did you see this in the for sale thing here? This is a buy. This is really some buy. Listen to this. The Pyramid Transistor Company has its New Jersey plant up for sale. A plant that originally cost seven and a half million dollars is for sale for only three million dollars. That's a sale. That's a buy. That's a buy. It's a nice. steal. Steal. Put in your penny. <laughs> no, Bob, I'm out. Listen, I'm not kidding about this. Somebody's gonna make a lot of money out of a deal like this. I know. All we got to do is have some guy with a million dollars, or three million dollars. No, <laughs> not one guy with three million. A guy with three million? No. Two friends chip in. 
Oh, we each have a million dollars. Yeah. That's all it is, a million dollars. What's your penny in? You want to play? <laughs> to talk about a million dollars. What's the matter? You never heard of a loan? A loan from a hey, bank? Wait a minute. Maybe this guy, he's not as stupid as he looks. He is, Bobby. He is. No, I'm not. I'm not. Where are you going to get a million dollars? A million dollars can be borrowed from a bank if you have the collateral to put up a million dollars. They don't loan money so fast. Girls, girls, listen to our millionaires over there. <laughs> They're playing penny ante poker and talking millions. <laughs> oh, what's the harm? There's no harm in making plans. There's no harm in making plans. Oh, Betty, you don't know. You just don't know the first time those boys decided to, to make a, a big plan. Oh, my Me? goodness. Well, Bob lost his shirt. And George lost his shirt. And Freddie lost his shirt, too. Wait a minute, Jane. What's this about this shirt Freddie lost? Well, he lost his shirt, that's all. Well, how much did this shirt cost that he lost? I guess about $600. Oh, Alice, don't bother yourself. It was before you were married. Listen, as far as money is concerned, our marriage is retroactive. <laughs> Come on, Jane. Now, what about this shirt thing? Well, let me see. Now, when did this happen? Oh, yes. Uh, the boys had just gotten out of the service. Mm -hmm. and, and they decided to, you know, pool all their, uh, their, their army pay yeah. and go into business together. Now, you see, they wanted to use some of the skills that they learned in the army. And as each one of them had about a year uh, of pay pee duty, uh, they decided to open up a diner. Hey, I think I have a little picture here showing yes. at the time. Oh, there they are. There oh, they oh, are. Oh, oh, oh. Our three times. Ah. <laughs> They're talking about a million dollars, and they had to go out and borrow a quarter to pay for that picture. <laughs> well, anyhow, like I say, they opened this diner. And wait till I tell you what happened. No. Well, the first day they started their new business venture, they got to the diner at six in the morning, raring to go. Hey, now, we're all set, right? Yes. yes. All right, now, we're open for breakfast. Right, yes. Now, we're all set. Now, wait, oh, now, did you squeeze the orange juice? It's all freshly squoze. It. It's yes. all squoze. <laughs> the, the butter, did you cut out the butter? A little tiny, cute little pats with an impression on top. Okay, fine, good. Now, did you make the coffee? No, of course not. We want it fresh. Oh, fresh coffee. Boy, out of boy. <laughs> now, you know, the main thing is, in, in, in a diner like this, you got to you got to have coffee. You've got to have the best coffee, you understand? Because coffee, they come from miles and miles around. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're here, and we're going to make the best coffee in the world, right? Now, who knows how to make coffee? <laughs> well, my mother used to make good coffee. She took one tablespoon per cup. One tablespoon per cup? You know what we'll do? What? We'll make it better. We'll put two tablespoons per cup. Why is it good that way? Good. Good. That's good. Right. right. How many do you think we'll need? How much is about? Oh, 300? 300, 300, 300. Cups, that's 600, that's 600, 600 uh, tab tablespoons of coffee that you right. put in. Right? Right. And my mother used to put one extra for the pot. And put in one, one uh, two extra for his mother's pot, right? Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Then we're all set. Okay. Now, look, remember, George, this is, this is, we're in competition. Oh, you understand? boy, I know that. You know diners are uh, competition. Right. You've got to make this a go. Right. Now, as you know, there's a diner right across the road. Oh, I know that. Right? You know, there's a diner right next door. I know that. And there's a diner right next door. I know that. And they're building a diner in back of us. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're building it. They're building one in back? That's right. Then why did we buy this diner here? <laughs> I don't understand a stupid question like that. Hey, no. I was going to ask the same thing. Why did we buy this diner? <laughs> Because if you want to go buy a fur coat, where do you go? You go to the fur district, right? Yeah. So if you want to eat, you go to the dining district, right? <laughs> this is the dining district. Hey. I don't do it whatever we want. Yeah, we got a good got thing. It. That's all. All right. You get, you get fresh. Wait a minute. I think there's a truck coming up. There's a, there's a truck. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 what is you, you, well, you want to make, make like a little class? So how about sandwiches, Bob? Oh, yeah. The sandwiches that you have besides making the class, yeah. you got to make them thick. Oh. Thick sandwiches. Right. Thick you know sandwiches. Because that makes word of mouth. Good thick sandwiches. And you fill up a man's mouth, he can't say a bad word. Oh, that's right. You that's right. That's the same thing. And you know something, Bob? We'll compete on another level. We'll give them class. We'll give them a little elegance. You know that, Bob? You know what? A continental breakfast every morning. That's pretty good. For 15 cents, we give them a bowl of oatmeal, a donut, and a glass of red wine. <laughs> Look, we're not competing with France. France is a big country. We're just a little diner here. Oh, Don't compete. Do that in France. Never mind. Look, we'll give him a plane. Let's go back and no wine. No wine. No wine. No wine. Oh, here comes the truck. There's a truck coming up right away. All right. Get ready. All right. All right.
Okay. Just leave it now. Get excited. Don't get excited. Well, I'm so nervous. That's all right. That's Christ okay. I'm nervous. Yes, whatever he wants. Here, give him. Give him yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Come on, Charlie. Hurry up. That's all right. Okay. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Two at the counter, two stools at the counter. Bonjour, monsieur. Sit down. Yourself. Sit your pretty self down over here. This is Robert and this is Francois. Now, I would like to suggest the special continental breakfast. A bowl of oatmeal, a donut, and a glass of red wine. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, let's get out of here. What are you doing? Fifteen cents. Fifteen cents. Ten cents. And we call. Oh, Charlie, you have to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little what did you do, Georgie? What, are you making fun of my French accent? I'm not making fun of Come on, what are you competing with? Take that thing off. Come on, Come on. Let's go. have a little class. Let's go. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, right here. Yes, sir, anything we can do for you, sir? Uh, Let me have a cup of coffee and a ham and cheese sandwich. Cup of coffee and a ham and cheese sandwich. Yes, sir. Ham and cheese, Bob. Ham and cheese. I'll make that. You want to entertain him? Yeah, I'll get the coffee. Uh, entertain him? Entertain him. Right. All right. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So I'll just ask him how his wife is, if his mother and father, that's all. Oh, that's, 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 hi, how's your mother and father? How's your wife, your mother and father? They all right? I told you to make the coffee. You, you said how. You know, 602 for his mother's pot. <laughs> All we got here is hot coffee grounds. Well, you wanted it thick. But you gotta put a little water in. <laughs> Bob, there was no mention of water. Forget about it. Here's a quarter. Yeah. Go to a diner and get a couple of containers of hot coffee. Oh, okay. right. yeah, which, which diner? Any diner was surrounded yeah, by okay. him, all right? <laughs> The sandwich will be ready in just a moment, sir. It's ready, right. Bob. It's ready. How does that look? All right? How do you expect to make some money with a sandwich like that? I overdid it. I'll take some off. What are you taking off? You make a sandwich. You make a sandwich. That's it. That's what you do. That's it. Here you are, sir. Here's your sandwich. Here's the coffee. Coffee. Here's the coffee. See, we had to make it so hot. We Indeed. Hey. Yeah, yeah. How much is this? Oh, that, that sandwich and coffee? That's, uh, that's 15 cents. Wow, 15 cents. Here you are. Oh, boy. This is great. Huh? Yeah, it's great. This is the greatest thing I ever see in my life. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, will you hold on to that sandwich? Just watch it, will you? Yeah. I'm going to tell the friends in the office about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know, right hey, hey, we're a hit. We're a hit. Cents. Cents. Oh, huh? Good. Good. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? A cup of coffee and a piece of apple pie. A cup of coffee and a piece of apple pie, right. Yeah. Apple pie? Yeah. Get the coffee. Pie. Coffee and apple yes, pie. Coffee. Coffee. you want, sir. Coffee. It's apple pie yeah. now. Okay, Bob. Nice apple pie. Is that enough, Bob? Yeah, oh, boy. Here you are. Nice piece of apple pie. Right there. Here you are, sir. That'll be 10 cents. Only 10 cents? Yeah. I'm going to tell all my friends. That's it. Word them up. Oh, Word them up. Place this. Place this. Give my friends two of those ham sandwiches. Give me that. Try the ham sandwich. Okay, Bob. Okay. 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 Cheese 
to go. Point your teeth at where? To the diner next door. Oh, you forgot. Here, 40, 40 of them. Give me 40. Right. Give me 40. Right. Give me 40. Right. Give me 40. Right. Boy, what a day, Mr. Bass. Wonder if we know it. Uh, all the rest of the dollars are down. They're empty. Uh, empty. Uh, $180. $60 a piece. $60 a piece. Boy, and you know something? <laughs> all our food is gone. We haven't got a stitch of food. Oh, yeah, well, oh, we we gone. What, a mess. <laughs> what a loss. Fourteen hundred dollars worth of food. Look at a hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. Boy, what are we going to do tomorrow? What tomorrow? There's no tomorrow. No. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what we do. We carry through our plan. We make a name. This place is a landmark, right? Yeah. They know that we give away good food. We make an investment. Understand? In what? We go down. We take a full page ad. Diner for sale. Anything or else we go to prison. Let's get out of here. Let's get something to eat. How do you know? Baby? We'll meet actress Jan Miner and her actor husband, Terry O'Sullivan, again later in the show. But now, Cheryl Conway brings you one of Cole Porter's most exciting songs. Oh, 
Oh, I can hardly wait till our boy comes home. <laughs> My little squinty eyes have been waiting four years to set sight on him ever since he went away to college. <laughs> oh, Paul, what an evening we're going to have. Yeah. And you know what? I fixed him his favorite dessert, too. Yeah, what was that? Cactus chitlin pie. Cactus chitlin pie? <laughs> the only pie you can eat and pick your teeth with at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ma, our boy's been away for four years. A uh, long time, but it was worth it. Yeah. Oh, that's him. Why that's no. him, Paul. No, Ma, that can't be him. Can't be. He's not due in till the evening stay. Oh. Come in, whoever you are. Howdy, Mr. Jordan. Oh, howdy. howdy, Mr. Jordan. Hello, Joe. How are you? Listen, honey, I don't think you better call us Mr. and Miss Jordan no more, because after our boy comes home tonight, you may be a Jordan yourself. <laughs> Yes, right, ma'am. He's coming home. He'll be here in time for supper. Oh, God. I just can't wait to feast my eyes on him. Four years is a long time when you love someone like I love Warren. I love him so much, every time I think of him, I get sick. Well, <laughs> don't you worry, Joanne, honey. I'm sure he gets sick whenever he thinks of you, too. Uh, oh, I'm sure he do. I'm sure he do. Yeah, yeah. Is that Warren? Warren? I know. That ain't Warren. Mama, you know what today is? It's Monday. We forgot. Oh. This is the day that that bad, bad, bad Frank Bingo comes here for his protection money. Oh, Paul. Paul, now you stand up to him now. No. You stand up to him. Don't you give him no money. You no. don't stand up to no, him. No, Mama. Paul. I ain't going to stand up to him. That Frank Bingo is a bad hombre. Howdy, Joanne. Mr. and Mrs. Jordan, it's Monday again. I come for my protection money. Mr. Bingo, just what are you protecting us from? From me. <laughs> I'm protecting you from me. You see, I got a mean, rotten streak in me. Unless I pay that mean, rotten streak about $5 a week, I do terrible, mean things, like drilling for oil at the base of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Ma. You give him the money. I need all the oil I got. <laughs> but, Paula, we ain't got five dollars. We spent ever cent on our son's education. The woman speaks the truth, sir. <laughs> all right. Tell you what I'll do. I'm not a bad man. I'll give you till sundown to give me the money. And then if you don't give it to me, I'll just burn your house down. <laughs> now, listen, old man. What? You understand me? <laughs> I said, do you understand me? <laughs> I have... <laughs> All right, now. I give you a break now. So now you do leave me a little favor. I want to see you do that dance you do so good. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. Sundown, and if you don't have the money, I'm gonna burn the house down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh why didn't you stand up to him? Stand up to him? Oh, I can't even stand up to you. Oh. But don't worry, our boy's coming home on the evening stage, yeah. and everything's gonna be all right. You stand up to him. He's coming home on the evening stage. That's right, Missy. Uh, I guess I, I guess I better go home and put my shoes on and, and pretty myself up a bit. Bye. Bye, Bye Johnny. Johnny. Honey. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Well, it's going to be all right. Don't you worry about it. That's him. That's him. That's our boy. That's our son. 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 I brought home, I brought home some presents from the East. <laughs> <laughs> 
Excuse me. Yes, I did. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, he brought us presents, didn't he? Yes. Yes, and gratitude. Here. Oh, you got perfume for me. No, that's for me. That's that's my aftershave lotion. See, I bought you a I bought you a book on to read, Mother. But son, I can't read. Well, this book will teach you how to read. <laughs> well, how can I read it if I... Well, listen, I'll take the shaving lotion. I can learn to shave faster than I can learn to read. All right, Mother. Sonny, Sonny, what did you get for me? Yes. What did you get for your own happy? I bought you a brand new pair of store-bought teeth so you can eat with. Oh, Sonny, you shouldn't have done that. You can eat with these teeth. Look at that, Mama. Oh, Look what you got. You know, I'm going to try them out right now. Here. Boy, those are wonderful. You know they beat a knife in a fork any day. Paul, no, you're supposed to use them when you're up. It's all right, fine. I can tell the whole world how happy I am about our boy being home. Mother, home. father, I can't, I can't tell you how much I, I, I appreciate your giving me this education that you've given me, given, given me. Son, you're going to get a chance to tell us real soon. You remember that bad boy, that Frank Bingo? The one who used to go to school, he used to, he used to pinch everybody and pour ink in everybody's ear? That's right, son. Well, he's still a pinching and he's still a pouring. Son, he's going to be here very soon, and he's demanding protection money from us. Well, son, I'll... you've got to stand up to him. I'll talk him out of it. I shall lose, I shall use, I shall use education on him. Son, talk and education don't mean nothing. This man is a killer. This is what you've got to use. Son, there's only talk he knows. You've got to talk to him through this. Talk to him through this? That's right, sir. Now, listen, you. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, Father. It spoils my diction. That is him, son. You stand up to him, boy. Don't worry, Father. I'll talk to him. Good. Frank Bingo, you come in here. Now, I'll tell you, you're terrorizing people like this. And I... Father, such a beautiful man like this, terrorizing everybody. <laughs> I think he's gorgeous. Oh, John, for heaven's sake, don't you recognize the childhood sweetheart? That there's Joanne. Joanne. Why, my goodness, Joanne, you, you've grown up. Why, the, the holes between your teeth have all filled in. <laughs> and your eyes. Your eyes have straightened out and... Gosh, you've grown hair. <laughs> Joanne, I can't tell you how... How much I missed you this last four years. I, I, I missed you too, Warren. <laughs> I don't think we should kiss because we're not engaged. You've come a long way, Warren. Four thousand miles to be exact. I could just come a little further and, and slip me a little kiss. Well, no use wasting a pucker. <laughs> come up a little more. Bingo! I won! No! No, sir! I scream bingo! All right, now, out! Well, if it isn't a high school boy. I'm a college boy, if you don't mind. Hello, <laughs> Glad to meet you, sir. Now, look here, I want my protection money, and I want it right away. Now, just a moment, sir. I hear say that you want to hear go around and burn down the house and my, and my, my, my loved ones, thereby singeing everyone I love. Yes, I intend to do that. Now, you'll listen to education, sir. Now, just a moment. I do a lot of things here I want to do. Like, I'll make this old man dance. I'm supposed to do it myself. Oh, no, not again. I already done one show. <laughs> I see education, there's no way to talk to you. I have to talk to you mouth to mouth. All right, Father. Give me my guns and we'll have a fair draw. All right, Sonny. Here we go, son. Here we go. Well, give me my guns and I'll show you what the talking is. There you are, son. All right. All right. There you are. All right. Ready? <laughs> oh, you forgot I growed up. <laughs> Give All right, give, give me another fair chance. Go ahead. Ready? Draw! I've got you covered. <laughs> you got me covered? You got that wall covered. Forget, sir. I went to college. I studied and majored in mathematics. And my major subject was trigonometry. 
Now, what I'm going to do is, is shoot this gun and hit those cans and those cans on the wall there. There, by ricocheting back and knocking the gun off your hand. <laughs> I like to see that. All right, I'll use my trigonometry. First, I'll let my trigger go, and then the nometry will go around. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. You miss. Wait. <laughs> My second shot will be banked off the side wall into your side pocket. There you are. Now start dancing. Start. We dance, we'll be at our wedding, my darling. Oh, But this ought to have the boys back home in Boston quite a lot. They know we're keeping company, but they don't know the half. Shall we try that again? Yes, perhaps we'd better. Yes. They don't know the half. Oh, that was much better. Much better. Yes, I think we have rather a nice blend, don't we? Move and mellow. It seems... It seems to me. Me too. I dare to stop the thing on which we can't agree. Do we do Kafka? Are we the same for love? Like peas in a pod. Oh, oh. We'll say. How gay. We spoke to Mum and Dad the other day. They say we are. An example of perfect harmony. See, oh me, oh my. With cheek to cheek and eye to eye, you right away did you. These are similar points of view. It gives me a fright, my pet. To you think we might never, never have met. met. Quite terrifying. It's plain. So please. To see. See what? It's me for you and you for two for me. We're not the ordinary run of the mill. No medium average Jack and Jill. We're children of the higher destiny. Oh, yes. We've such a lovely blend. We really are the end of perfect harmony. Oh, Bertie, I think we get better all the time. All the world enough with my dear. You know, I think we should go on the stage, honestly. I do. Should we? Bertie. Why don't we try one of those tricky double chorus affairs? You mean the sort of thing where I'm up here and you're kind of yes, down the Yes, that's it. Oh, Bertie, let's do it. Do, do, do. It sounds tantalizing, tantalizing. Oh, come on, do it. All right. <clears throat> we both adore the Jersey Shore. We share a taste for liver pains. We're now the things on one. We don't do mine. We do. Come, cut, win, stop, for love. Perfect harmony. I think I was a little off that time. No, it was me. I wasn't concentrating. Oh. Nineteen, you know, first of all, we might be a stick. We we never disagree in this and this. Perfect harmony. Oh, oh my. Cheek to cheek and eye to eye, knew right away my twist. Didn't you say banana and I say banana? Give me a fright, my sweet. To think of all we might have missed if you and I did not exist. Too late to see. Be what? It's me for you for you for you for you. Well, you know, no medium average jacket. Children of the higher destiny. Oh, yes, we're solid as a rock. The whole of hair's a cross. Perfect. I'm old. Nighttime, the program that shows you America in the dark. And here's your guide to Nighttime USA, Jimmy Nearly. Hello, this is your sincerely Jimmy Nearly, bringing you the show that sticks its nose into America's business. Tonight, our roving cameras will show you that while half of America sleeps, the other half is working to keep the wheels of America turning and populating its nightclubs and after-hour hotspots. 
Nighttime is a show that salutes these wide awake, nervous, red eyed, drinking weirdos. <laughs> our first stop is Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, where nighttime is party time. Our camera is eavesdropping at a lavish party given by one of the most popular hostesses in America, Mrs. John Medler. Can you hear me, Mrs. John Medler? Oh, please don't be so formal. Just call me John. <laughs> Thank you, John. We'll be back to your party in just a moment. Well, don't forget to bring the rest of America with you. We will, we will, John. But first, for now we go singing west to San Francisco to an actual performance of an all-night girly girly show. Hey, come in, San Francisco. Here we find nighttime America enjoying itself at the famous Bravali Theater. And hey, here's a treat for our nighttime audience. Right in the first row. The distinguished Judge Harlow J. Potter obviously relaxing from a day on the bench. Hello there, Judge Potter. You're on TV. <laughs> Judge? Judge Potter, would you care to say hello? Uh, well, that's just a sample of what you're going to see on tonight. But right now, let's get the weather picture from our lovely weather-beaten girl, Miss June Bug. June? The Hi. weather. Hello, Jimmy. I'm ready to, to take a look at tomorrow's weather. <laughs> There's a cold front moving down from Canada. <laughs> when it meets the warm front from Mexico, it's going to rain through here. <laughs> Fair and milder is predicted for New York due to a relative high moving in over the Atlantic. <laughs> the Northwest can expect more of the same. <clears throat> Mild weather, <laughs> thanks to the warm air mass moving northward. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please. Here's a piece of crayon. <laughs> Scratch it. <laughs> Please, no, no more weather for Sinai. Thank you very much. No more weather. Thank you. We'll see you later, June. See I'll see you later, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> it's her. It's her. It's not the talk. <laughs> I'll see you later. Now, let's get back to the nation's capital and see how the party's coming along at Mrs. John Medler's. Hi, John. How's the party going? Well, the guests haven't arrived yet, but I'm sure they'll be here any moment now. <laughs> John, would you tell America some of the international celebrities you've invited for tonight? Oh, yes! Oh, my! Yes, we have some very distant gay people I'm expecting. <laughs> there is the Maharaja Florestan and his mother, the Mama Raja, <laughs> and Mrs. Frederick Fenton of the googly eye and fake moustache million, and General Robert Justin and his wife, Sergeant Irene Justin, <laughs> and uh, and the Shaw, and his wife, the Shawsley. <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. Yes, I, that's I say, I say that, I say, I say that, yes, well, I say, I say, uh, yes, you're, yes. I say you, you're talking while I'm talking. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Just, yes, just, yes. I can't help noticing, I was saying, yes. the beautiful buffet, that's quite an unusual spread of food. That... Oh, <laughs> oh, you noticed. Well, uh, now, I, I could explain to you, you see, that the motif tonight is all the buildings of Washington made entirely of food. Now, for example, you see here the treasury is made out of chopped liver. <laughs> and uh, here the State Department is baked halibut, and uh, Congress is one long egg roll. <laughs> yeah, that's marvelous. Tell yes, us, that? that I, I say, tell us, John, yes, tell, John, uh, you're, yes. talk, you're talking while I'm talking. Yes, John, yes, how can you afford to keep throwing these lavish parties? Well, it's all thanks to my late husband. He left me tons of food. I see. <laughs> isn't, it time, isn't it time your guests were arriving? Uh, yes, yes they, they are a bit late. I do wish they'd come. The White House is no good unless it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll drop in to see you again soon, and as soon as your party gets started. Let's shift our West Coast camera once again to the Diamond Dance Emporium, the Tango Palace, in the honky-tonk section of San Francisco. Take a good look at this place, because if the city fathers had their way, they'd close it up soon. But still, hundreds of lonely men find their way here every night for a few hours of dancing companionship. Lonely people. 
Well, here's Judge Harlow K. Potter again. He's certainly getting around tonight. And maybe we can get him to say a few words. Judge, Judge Potter, would you care to say a few words to our television audience at the Tango Palace in San Francisco? Well, I guess he, I guess the judge is a little camera shy. We're back now at home plate in New York City, back in Exhibitionism Hall. And now, a treat for you night owls. From that hit Broadway musical, Block That Kiss, here's the lovely star who just came over from tonight's closing performance of that show, Miss Angela Jonesala. <laughs> Hi, Angela, how are you? Hello, Timmy. It's I'm a, just fine. Hello, everyone. It's a distinct privilege to have you on our show. It's great pleasure to be here, really. Angela, how does it feel, your show closed tonight? How does it feel on a closing night of a show? Oh, Jimmy, it was, it was so emotional and so exciting, you have no idea. <laughs> Of course, it wasn't really nearly as exciting as it was last night when the show opened. Yes, I... <laughs> you opened last night. Well, yes. we hope you're not going to sing the hit song from your show. Will you sing something else for us? Oh, I'd be glad to, Thank Jimmy. You. Thank you. The moon belongs to everyone. The best things in life are free. The stars belong to Angela Jones. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And congratulations, officer. Uh, well, they tell me we're ready to switch back to Washington, D.C., where Mrs. John Medler's party ought to be going in full swing. Take it away, Washington. How's the party going, John? Oh! <laughs> John, how's the party going? What? Yeah, how, how's the party going? Oh, it is quite nice. It's very gay. It's grand fun. <laughs> it's a buzz. <laughs> Now, please, Mrs. Medler, Mrs. Medler, control, control yourself, I think. But I can't get control right to the whole body. We've got to, Mrs. Medler, Mrs. John, John, we've got to go now, John. We'll be going now. We've got to go to the West Coast. We've got to go, John. What? We've got to go. Oh, where's the boy? We've got to go to the West Coast to one of the most fascinating aspects of nightlife, criminal night court. Our cameras are going right into court and see justice meted out. I think we're just in time. They're bringing in the first complainant now. Get your fat hands off of me. I'll find that little runt wherever he is. Promised to marry me. Fired 500 bucks and I ain't seen him since. Hey, there he is. That's a little runt. <laughs> Another TV first. You've actually seen, through the miracle of live TV, a man's career wrecked. America in the dark. We'll be back again tomorrow night, so watch yourselves. We'll get you wherever you are. This is yours sincerely, Jimmy Nearly, saying good night. Good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's our show for tonight. Now, now I'd like to meet our wonderful cast. First of all, the wonderful Miss Janet Blair. Carl Reiner. Howard Morris. Pat Carroll. Joe Flannery. Thank you very much, friends and gentlemen. We'll all be back with you in two weeks from tonight. Thank you again tonight, and God bless you.